How much did he buy you for in the Philippines? You must feel so much better for being with a man who can't get white girls. Actually, I got him at the clearance section at Target. I think he was... I forgot how much you were. They were just trying to get rid of me. I was free. <laughs> like many women, I didn't need a man to buy my house, to buy my car, or keep my lights on. We don't need you guys for anything. I don't want a son because... They're the problem. To save myself financially, I can make myself happy. I can make myself work as in like, what in the world could a dude offer me? You don't need a man to make you feel better, babe. Do you know what you need? An iced coffee. Hey, what's going on, good people? In this video, we're going to discuss a lady who I can't tell if she's trying to start a conversation with Passport Bros or she trying to further repelled them away the war between western men and women is over and the men won the women lost it's almost like she's trying to make a plea or offer a truce i, I really don't get it but we're definitely gonna get into it and break it down but before we do make sure you guys hit that subscribe button like the video i'm not gonna hold you up let's get right into it gentlemen i do not think you guys are grasping the situation in all these comments, I'm hearing how you are not going to tell your sons to marry, how you are happier being single, how you would rather be a passport brother and go to a different country to find a wife. No, Miss Lady, don't try to put that all on men. There are women out there who have went on record and said that they will encourage their sons not to date American women as well. So it's not just the men saying it. Women are saying this too uh, regarding their sons. Now, while I empathetically, deeply understand your rationalization to this conclusion, believe me, I do, it's wrong on so many levels because at the same time, you guys are asking how we fix our society and how we fix our culture. There is a reason they took women out of the home. It should show you the importance of having a woman there, just like the importance of having a father in the home. If the key component to detrimentalizing our society and our culture as a whole in America is to remove the wife and the mom from the home, then the answer is to bring her back in. I'm not sure what she's talking about bringing women back home, but women are the first ones to leave the home in the man. They are the first ones to run down to the courthouse and file for a divorce. It was her choice. I am by no means here to it on women, honestly. As much as the Puppet Masters has put in to break us as a family unit and as a society, we need to fix it and it absolutely cannot be fixed without the help of men. Sadly, men have been completely destroyed by this feminist movement, but I also don't want to shame women and I want to bring them back home. And I can't do that alone. We need help from men. Think about what world your sons want to be raised. Well, lady, men are not the ones who broke it. A lot of the court system laws has been changed to favor women. So it's not something that men broken. And that's where she's wrong. These men have tried in the past to rectify the situation and fix it and blah, 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 whatever. And that has not worked. So it's really to the point now that men are not trying to rectify anything. They're not trying to fix anything. They are out. Why is she sending this message out to Ben? It should be sent out to women. She also can thank the feminist movement. These men are not going to come back unless these women give them an offer they cannot refuse. I deserve to have a traditional wife. They want to go be a passport, bro. And I'm like, bro, you're fat, you're broke. You don't deserve a traditional wife. You need to level up. The same way they want a traditional girl. The girl, she's going to be way more traditional back in my country. So trust me, she's not marrying you for love. She's marrying for your green card. So are you against passport bros or? I understand the fundamentals of it for those who have done everything in life to make sure they are a man. But if you're not a man, I don't think you deserve that, honestly. If you don't have your life together, what makes you think you know how to appreciate a, tr like a traditional wife? Oh. If some other guy who's living here who's never had an idea of what a male figure is in his life, he's going based off of whatever little content he picks from the internet. He's like, well, I want a traditional wife. But therefore, he doesn't even have like a credit score. He doesn't even have like his, his life in check. He's still driving the hoopty from high school. But you want a traditional girl. Like, what happens when you bring that girl over here? You're going to basically make her a Western woman and she's going to realize like, this guy, dude, doesn't have his shit together now she's gonna cheat on you but this is not something that men can fix you guys wanted to run the united states of america go ahead and run it some men will not choose to live there anymore and partake let's say 
maybe you can rally women together to start a political movement to get the state courts out of marriage. But most black women are overweight or obese. Well, you know why? Because you can't afford a gym membership for them. And they would rather eat than be with a broke man. They would rather sit down and prepare a meal for their kids and their family and eat and get fat because y'all aren't worth being skinny for. What we gonna be looking good and snatched for to go get some coffee? Oh, I got to go to the gym. I might get invited out for some coffee tomorrow. Let me go get my let me go get my brows waxed so I can get this coffee. Ooh, girl, I gotta go. I can't. Uh -uh, I'm fasting, girl. I gotta. I'm I'm going to Applebee's tomorrow. What do we have to be skinny for? Girls in general, do they ever go out wanting a one night stand? Yeah, yeah, for sure. What about just going out like I'm gonna make out with a guy tonight? I love making out with people. Like when you're on a night over, like yeah, it's good to have a nice. This is what I've seen. I've been out with a bunch of guys, and guys are like I'm gonna prowl. I'm gonna get me a girl, take her home tonight. I've been out with a lot of girls, like I'm gonna get me a guy to make out and walk away, and I'm like. I don't know what the equivalent of blue balls is for women, but... Yeah, I think it's quite good fun just having a nice kiss, but it doesn't mean you want to take them home. It's like fishing. You just like to catch and release. Yeah. You're just like, ah, I got These you. These men Goodbye. out yeah. here has learned their lessons, and they found the solution. A lot of men would rather just step away from dating or relationships or, uh, or some guys that are just leaving the country to date traditional women. We definitely can't fix women who do not want to be fixed. David's bridal has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. This comes just days after it said it would lay off more than 9,000 positions. The chain previously filed for bankruptcy in 2018 after growing debt and declining sales. It's now looking to sell. They say stores are still open and they are still fulfilling orders without any delays or disruptions. There are two David's bridal locations in the Bay Area. One's in Pinole and the other one is in San Jose. Maturing is realizing you don't want to be around drama, stress, or conflict anymore. You start choosing calm over chaos and distance over disrespect. You start prioritizing your peace, mental health, and happiness over everything. But little do she know these men are holding the line. These women are silently panicking, and they really starting to feel it. But women to this point really just need to fix themselves. Maybe the next generation will care. passport movement i would say has finally got a little quieter and a lot of guys are moving in silence but the great migration is still happening in real time right now but that's all i got in this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button like the video drop a comment down below on what you guys think about this particular lady right here and also don't forget to follow me on dating right clips and ronin passport thanks for watching to the end i'll see you in the next video